Oh my gosh, he's nearly dead. Ben is nearly dead! Best day ever! Hey guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to a brand new video and today as you can probably tell we are back with Hogwarts mystery to find out some more Hogwarts mysteries. Oh and Bean is peaced out. Immediately peaced out. She's like you're too loud. I'm gonna hang out in my bed in my little Evie's den that you've kindly made for me. So I'm actually super super excited for this episode because this is where we're gonna learn Alhamora, which is gonna I said I sounded just like Hermione then. Oh my god. Which is gonna allow us to go and open that door in that secret little cheeky dungeon corridor type situation. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get inside and also figure out what my brother found. Because Dano, you're clearly a little bit ahead of us in this. I don't want to catch up with you, okay? Also, just a little Cheeky cheeky reminder, if you go to the Claren Alley channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, go to my channel and go to the top link channels. Claren Alley is right at the top there. We posted another video last night, which was, and I can't believe I allowed this to happen. It was Ali doing my makeup and it was tragic. It was pretty tragic. It also took so long. In fact, this is a little sneaky hint. Look at the background of the video at the beginning of the video and then keep watching and keeping an eye on it. It's pitch black outside by the time the video finishes. That is how long it took Ali to find my uh, powder for my eyebrows. Thanks for that, Ali. This is a fun video and you guys should definitely go and check it out. So I'm gonna kick things off by going straight into charms and trying to learn this Al Amora type. Bell. I say type, it's just, it's Alamora. Oh, and in fact, we actually have to go ahead and unlock the lesson, so I'm gonna have to go and do that quickly first, you guys, but don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you with some extreme hmm. clicking. This game is genuinely the definition of clickbait. And in fact, a lot of you guys have been telling me that you're quite a lot further ahead of me on this game. So I think I'm gonna try and make sure that the episodes focus a lot more on the story than just the wild clicking action so that we can try and advance the story a little bit more for you guys. Because that's the most fun bit, that's the bit I want to find out a little bit more about as well. Okay, there we go. I've unlocked the lesson for you guys. And I also needed some more stamina just to do that. So thanks for that game. But never mind. I'm in the lesson. Why can't I do a learn? Let me do a learn. Oh, what? I need five stars to unlock this lesson? Are you genuinely joking me right now, game? What? There goes another part of the stamina rooney. Oh, but it's fine because I actually managed to level up my courage, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts. Hmm, the shield charm. I'm gonna go Protego. Literally, just call me... Which character? Which Harry Potter character do I actually want to be? Voldemort. <laughs> okay, now I am ready to learn Alamora. And oh my gosh, I need that little stamina, so... Little cute, but also very creepy girl. Give me one more stamina, please. Okay, let's go ahead and try and learn the spell because we're gonna need it for the top, like, crazy banter that we've got planned. When I, I forgot to see what Flitwick said and I need to do his little voice, don't I? It's the best spell when a wizard forgets his keys. Come to think of it, with Alamora, why would a wizard even need keys? Well, there's a giant blot hole that you've just uncovered, Flitwick, so that's great. A discussion for another day, I suppose. One's up, everyone! Ali must find this, like, the most hilarious thing when I record it. Because you'll just be able to hear nonsense! Nonsense coming out of the room! Alamora is a spell that will open many doors for you. Let's begin with a demonstration of the unlocking charm. Watch me, students! Oh, you mean tap, tap, tap away, students. That's what you actually mean. Doing our little focus. We're back on track with our focusing, you guys. I almost didn't get a chance to focus because I was uh, down in my coffee with vanilla soy milk in it, you guys. It's pretty good. Moving on. Now I will show you some tips for casting the unlocking charm. Oh my gosh, how do I not, how did I not have a part in the Harry Potter films? Do you find that really odd? Like, Literally, top 10 most unexplainable things in the world is why wasn't I actually Harry Potter, you know? And all the cast. I was like, I should have been like the Eddie Murphy of Harry Potter. Okay, so we're gonna do a little demonstration of stance. Needs improvement! Are you testing me? It was gold the whole way around. What on earth? Oh my gosh, I'm mad. I'm actually legit mad about that. I did that perfectly. The game's heard me moaning about the clicking and it's like, hmm. Click this, Claire! <laughs> Okay guys, there we go. Our final star to pass this little cheeky incantation. Uh, what should we go for? I'm kind of feeling like we need that bravery points, but I'm not gonna turn down a 15 pointer. And I want them brain points. I'm gonna go for that one. And now it's time to do our spell. Oh my gosh, this is hard. <gasps> 
It's cool though. It's like you almost draw a lock and then the key. That's kind of what it looks like. <gasps> and look at that. I unlocked the lock. I am the lock master. And success. We now know Alamora, which is obviously going to be super handy. And we leveled up our empathy as well. I'm one step closer to unlocking that door. <gasps> Okay, I think we need to go ahead and meet Rowan in the Great Hall. And then I think we're ready to unlock that door, you guys. So, let's go and find little Ro Ro. I wonder if there's any other of our little friendos in the hall that we can talk to. Sometimes there is. But not today. In fact, is there anything I can click in the hall? There isn't really, is there? No free stamina that I can see. I mean, I'll click around, but I don't think there is. Never mind. Let's go ahead and chat with Ro Ro Bestie. There you are. I've been busy excelling in class and earning house points. Oh, no, I hear. I need to learn to read, you guys. Where's the Hogwarts lesson for reading? I hear you've been busy excelling in class and learning house points for Gryffindor. Learning house points. You're the one who gave me points in flying class. Believe it or not, I get points in potions by helping my ruler. Not only have people been helping me get house points, but I came up with a plan to get into the room that Miss Norris is guarding. Brilliant! What's your plan? First, we need to get past Miss Norris. If we give her a sleeping draft, it will knock her out long enough to let us pass by. Oh my gosh, you could end up killing the car. You need to be careful. Second, we need a way to get inside the door. The unlocking charm, Alamora, should do the trick. Third, we'll need the knockback jinx, fl knockback jinx flipendo. It'll help us escape if we get trapped inside the room like with the devil's snare. And uh, if you ask Snape to help you brew a sleeping draft, he'll get suspicious. I'm going to ask Penny Haywood. A Penny, would you feel to help us, my love? Penny Haywood, she's the most popular girl in our year, if not all of Hogwarts. It's because she's so pretty. She offered to help me with anything I needed, and she's pretty good with potions. She's being modest. If anyone in our new year knows how to brew a sleeping draft, it's her. What about Filch? I was inspired by your love of research and decided to do some of my own research on Filch. I think we can throw him off our tail. Oh. There's one more thing. What? I think we'll need a third person to pull this off. Don't bring Ben, okay? I told you guys, Ben is literally Voldemort because he is so annoying. He's always on a tail. He always needs loads of effort from us. He's too much. Who else do you want to bring? Oh my gosh, a penny, 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 penny. I got the option to save myself from Ben, you guys. I know she offered to help you. This is asking a lot, Claire. I know, but I really think she can help. And also, she's not called Ben. Knowing the gossip around Hogwarts could keep us out of trouble. And her potion skills could help us with what in seventh... I don't even know what she just said. What is wrong with me? Why can't I read? Good luck, Claire. Just let me know when you're ready to execute the plan. I'm ready right now, okay? However, I do have a side quest with Angelica. So let's go check out what the situation is there. I get some more stamina, even though I'm actually on 26 out of 26. Why do you do that every time? Okay, here we go. So you wanted to see me about my training? I taught you all the basics of dueling, but you'll need to learn more to overcome all the challenges in the coming years. You've already proven to be better than Rowan, so I've volunteered another of your friends to help you practice. Meet me on the training grounds after you hear from him by owl. Don't let it be Ben. Please don't let it be Ben, you guys. No! We've got to duel Ben? I, literally, this is me, in my head at least, fighting Vol- Why have I just done that again? Fighting Voldemort because of how annoying Ben is. Surely he can't be that good. This is crazy. Is he actually low-key really good? And I've asked to bring Penny now. Have I made a huge error? Is what I'm asking you guys. Are you sure you want to do this, Ben? As, sh as sure as I ever be, I need to learn to duel too. You won't always be around to save me. Ben may be a bit of a coward, no offense. But Professor Flitwick says he's one of the most gifted first-year charm students. He also says that about me, you know? You two should be able to give each other a good challenge. The only thing I ask is that you don't go easy on each other. You'll both learn much more if you give it your all. I, I don't mind you going easy on me, Claire. Sometimes it's safer to avoid learning. Ben, give it your all, you useless little shrew. I'm sorry, Ben, I don't want to hurt you, but I want both of us to learn as much as we can. I, I understand. I'll try to keep my whimpering to a minimum. Yeah, you better, because it really bugs me, okay? It just grinds my gears. And oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him person and look at his attribute levels. He's actually quite strong. This could legit be pretty hard. So I think he's going to go for a defensive spell. So I'm going to go for a sneaky one. Oh, <gasps> he went aggressive. Ben went aggressive. Are you joking me? If the 
then beats me, I'm gonna delete this game off my phone and just, and just, I don't know, also smash my phone even more than it's already smashed. Okay, I'm gonna go defensive this time. <gasps> I'm gonna get my butt kicked. I'm actually gonna get my butt kicked here. <gasps> okay, so he's gone for aggressive. And he's gone for defensive, so I think... No, what did he go for last time? Sneaky. I'm gonna go sneaky. Oh, <gasps> we both went sneaky. Guys, this is hard. I can't really work him out. I'm gonna try defensive again. Oh, <gasps> finally I get to hit him. Is there an option to just stab him a bit? Just a bit. Just a bit of a stab. I think I'm gonna... Ah, I'm gonna just go offensive right now. If I get more hit, then I will start to heal myself. But for now, I just want to hurt him. I just want to hurt him, you guys. I do. Okay, so we went for... What did he go for last time? He went for aggressive. So I think he's going to go sneaky. I'm going to go aggressive. Guys, I could lose this challenge. Oh, he's healing himself. No, he's not. He's, a cra he's attacking me. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why can't I remember what he goes for each time? I'm just going to go aggressive again. Ooh. Draw. And I'm going to go aggressive again. I can't beat Ben! Ben is my nemesis! He actually is my nemesis! Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm literally one shot. I'm one shot away from dying. Oh my gosh, I went for aggressive then and he went for defensive. Oh, I'm just gonna have to play it by ear. Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try stun him. I'm gonna try stun him because then I might be able to get another hit in. I have to cast it perfectly. I think that was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. So I'm gonna hit him with this and try and stun him. <gasps> oh my gosh. That messed him up. That actually messed him up. And he's stunned for one turn. Yes, this is it. Wait, he should be stunned. He should be stunned. How is he even getting the option to do that? Oh my gosh. Now he's not stunned anymore, you guys. I'm gonna go aggressive again. I can't beat him. I actually can't beat him. Please don't let this be it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. No. Ben actually beat me, you guys. I have to try again. What is this? What is this? I can't figure out his pattern. So he went sneaky. I think he'll now go defensive, so I'm going to go sneak. Ben is my nemesis. Ben is literally just too good for me, you guys. He is too good for me. I think he looks at what I went for last time and tries to counter it, so now I'm going to go defensive. Okay, I think we figured out his- He basically, whatever I do the time before, he will try and counter. I think that's what he's gonna do. So I went for defensive that time, so I think I should go for sneaky- No, aggressive this time. No, I don't know. I can't figure him out. <laughs> he's too good for me! <gasps> and he's healing himself, isn't he? The little brat's healing himself! Oh my god. I suck. I actually suck at this game. <gasps> okay, I've got a shot on him, you guys. I've got a shot on him. I'm just gonna go for the aggressive options because my attacks hurt him so much more because I'm such a high level. Okay, so that time, I think I went for... What? what? This is the problem I can't remember what I went for. I think I went for aggressive, so I think he'll go for defensive, so I'm gonna go for sneaky. No. <laughs> okay, I went for sneaky, so he's gonna go for aggressive, so I'm gonna go for defensive. No. <laughs> okay, I went for defensive, which means he would go for sneaky, which means I would go for aggressive. So I'm actually going to go for defensive. It's a mental game, but I think I'm getting the hang of it, you guys. I think I'm actually slowly starting to get the hang of it. Oh my gosh, he's nearly dead. Ben is nearly dead. Best day ever. Okay, so I went for sneaky, which means he'd go for aggressive, but and then I'd go for defensive, but I think he's going to be on that, so I'm going to go for sneaky. No. I'm trying to outgame him. And he doesn't have as much game as I think he does. <gasps> oh my gosh, but I actually think he's got way more game than me. And he's just killed me again. He's actually just killed me again. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna flipendo his butt, you guys. This beautiful new crazy looking spell. No! Oh my gosh, th thankfully it's given me another option. <gasps> this should do some serious damage to him, surely. Oh my gosh, there we go. A minus 15 banger there. No! <laughs> I can't beat Ben. He saw what I titled my last video and he's going to town on me. Oh my gosh. I can't beat him. I actually can't beat him. He's too strong. And I'm out again. What? <laughs> I can't believe this. I actually can't. Okay, we're off to a good start this time. <sighs> Let's finish him off. Oh my gosh, please, please kill him. 
Kill him. Kill him. Ah! She don't want to kill him. I want to kill him. Let's kill him. Okay. Please let this be enough. Please. That's a pretty big spell. That oh my gosh, finally. He's, he's hard. He plays some crazy mind games, but we managed to beat Ben. Yes. Are you okay, Ben? I'm turning into Marula. Huh. Ben turns me into Marula. Th thanks for not going easy on me, Claire. Th these, these bruises will be gone soon, but this tuning experience will stay with me forever. Well done, Claire. You gave it your all, but you and your friend are better off for it. Thanks. What's my next step to becoming a hmm. master duelist? You need to study dueling, strategies, and techniques. You need to be better prepared for your next duel. Next duel? Against hmm. who? Against me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I did not see that one coming. And Rowan is going to give us some little study advice for it. So we may as well get a little bit of studying done with the Roro Meister. So she's asking me how I'm feeling about dueling with the prefect. Honestly, I am actually pretty nervous, you guys. We only just beat Ben. I don't think we really stand a chance against Angelica, but Rowan says, But I'm going to make sure you're as prepared as possible. I've gathered every duelling book I could find on strategies, techniques, and first-hand accounts. Uh, thanks, Rowan. <laughs> I'll try to get through as much of it as I can. Oh, no, Claire. We'll get all through all of it together. I'm not going to miss a spectacular study session with my friendo. Okay. So this study session is an awful lot of tippy tapping. Tippy tapping away like there's no tomorrow. Oh my gosh, literally it's some severe tippy taps going on here, you guys. <laughs> Absolutely severe tippy toppies happening right now. I think to be fair, I am just getting bonus stars, but I kind of feel like I have to have those bonus stars. Especially if it gives us some more attribute points because that's going to make us better at dueling, you know? Thanks, Rowan. Studying all those dueling books was a huge help. I wouldn't have a chance against Prefect if it wasn't for you. Logically speaking, your chances are still infinitesimal, Claire. I don't even know what that word means. It means very small. Oh, thanks, Rowan. <laughs> I know what infinitesimal means, Rowan. I don't even know how to say it. So I ain't gonna know what- how- I ain't gonna know, am I? I better get to the training grounds for my duel with the prefect. Good luck, Claire. I'll be hoping for your victory in the face of insurmountable odds. Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence there, Rowan. Oh my gosh, you guys. Imagine if I actually beat her in one go compared to Ben, who took me four goes. Four goes, Benjamin, a ballerina, took me. He ain't no ballerina, is the vibe I'm getting from him. He's a warrior, my gosh. Hmm. I may have newfound respect for Ben. Still kind of hate him, though. Are you ready for our duel, Claire? Um, are you ready for me, Angelica? Just brush that dirt off my shoulder. The question is, are you ready for me? The answer is yes. <laughs> I did not expect that confidence. You can't grow without challenging yourself. And you can't become a better jeweler without facing someone stronger. This is how people change trade for Smash Bros. So, you know, she's onto something there. All I ask is that you give it your all like you did when you jeweled Ben Cooper. All I ask is that you lose three times in a row and then just really just clinch it on the last one. You should do the same. I plan on winning, you know what I'm saying? Good. Let's begin. Oh my gosh. I am legit a little bit scared for this, you guys. Okay. I feel like... She would expect me to go aggressive, but she's actually gonna go sneaky, so I am gonna go aggressive. Oh my gosh, I'm calling the shots here, you guys! I'm gonna go and try and go for the stun option as well, because I feel like the more we can incapacitate her, the more chance we have. So kapow! Take that, Angela Rooney. And we got a high knowledge bonus. That's why I went for those knowledge points. Okay, because we went aggressive thinking she was gonna go sneaky. I think she's gonna go defensive. So we should go sneaky. Unless she expects that. So she goes aggressive. So we should go defensive. How many mind games is she playing? I'm going to try sneakeroo. She did the second thing. She did the second thing that I said. Okay. She, we always have to go for the more extreme trickster bonus. And she lighting me on fire. She like she burning me for two turns. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So she went aggressive and we went sneaky. So the next time she would expect I don't know what she would expect. I don't know what she expects. I don't know. I'm gonna go defensive. And I'm getting burned. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was such a strong start. Don't you flipendo me. Don't you be flipendoing me. Okay, she's just making me do lol fest. That's fine. And I'm getting burned. Oh my gosh. What did I just go? I went defensive, didn't I? Oh, this is so hard. Okay, we both went aggressive. Well, I think this time she'll go defensive, so I need to go sneaky. Yes, okay, okay. What is the lot? Okay, I can do flipendo, which is a pretty strong one. So that and I can't ever do it. I think it's because my hands are sweaty from nerves. <laughs> okay, we flipended her, but that's a good one. Oh! <gasps> 
this one's gonna win you guys. Okay, so did I go aggressive then? Or did I go sneaky? If I went aggressive, she would have gone defensive. So what is she gonna go for you guys? Ah! I'm gonna go aggressive. No. Guys, unless she goes for heal. Oh, she went for the heal. She went for the heal. She went for the easy option. That's good. That's good. Okay, she's done a little bit of healing for herself there. And she's going to heal over two turns. So I went aggressive that time. She went defensive that time. So what's she going to do this time? Oh, I think I'm going to go aggressive again. Okay, she went aggressive. That's good because we both get a little bit back. I don't know if to go sneaky or aggressive. I'm going to go sneaky. Oh, she went sneaky as well. Oh my gosh. She's healing a lot now though. It's because we both went sneaky last time. She'll go aggressive. I'm going to go defensive. <gasps> oh my gosh, have I won it? Have I actually won it? Do I go, do I attack her or do I heal? I think I'm gonna have to heal. This is a really hard one. Okay, this is good. I'm getting heals and I got the knowledge bonus. <gasps> I'm almost back to full health. But what did I just go? I think I went defensive. So she's gonna go, I'm gonna go aggressive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kill her, kill her. Expelliarmus her. <laughs> I need to stop yelling kill her about this kid's game, don't I? Maybe do that, Claire. Have I won? Oh, she is hanging on by a thread. By a thread right now. Why can I never remember the move I went before? My gosh. Gonna go defensive. No. Okay, I went defensive. She went sneaky. Remember that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We've won. We've won. We've won. We've won. On the first go. Take that, Angelica. You are not as hard as Ben is. And we actually won on our first go! Unbelievable! You really are as powerful as they say. Maybe you should be the one teaching me to duel. <laughs> I did warn you, Angelica. I would never have gotten this far without your guidance, though. Are you gonna tell everyone in Gryffindor that you beat a prefect in a duel? I'm not gonna tell anybody, you guys. I want her to be an ally. It's better to have an ally. This isn't about bragging rights. It's about learning and getting stronger to face the challenges ahead. Thank you, Claire. I'm going to tell Professor McGonagall that I think you'd make an excellent prefect. We don't want to be a prefect, though, because then we can have as much fun, you know? I've already been a prefect once in my life. I don't want to do that again. I've taught you everything I know about Dueling. You have to search Hogwarts for a more powerful Helping tutor. <gasps> That's amazing. We even got Dumbledore saying some little creep thing in my ear. I don't know what else he said. But now we're going to try and brew the sleeping draft, you guys. <gasps> oh, and there's a whole self to click there. While you learn what we need to enter the locked room, I'll see what we need to recruit our ally. ally. Good luck, Claire. Okay, so we need to ask a little Penna Rooney if she's gonna help. Well, if- oh, she's got a lovely voice, hasn't she? Well, if it isn't the hero of Hogwarts. Thank you for agreeing to help me brew the sleeping draft. My pleasure. People always seem to come to me for gossip, so it's refreshing to somebody that recognizes my skill with potions. Huh? Why do you need me to help you brew, brew a sleeping draft? It's for Miss Norris, it's just for love potions, or I can't tell you. Look how pretty and confused she is. We're gonna tell her the truth though, you guys. Miss Norris is guarding a locked door that I want to enter, so I need her to help to take a little nap. Exciting. Don't worry, Claire. Your secret's safe with me. Why isn't Snape here? We lost our defense against the Dark Arts Professor. Snape is campaigning Dumbledore, even though the po position is cursed. <gasps> oh no, you guys. Rumor is, he's not going to get it. I feel like I didn't learn anything in Defense Against the Dark Arts this year. Have we even had a Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson? I don't think we have. Well, you're about to learn some potions right now. Okay, Penaruni, hit us up with this knowledge, friendo. Lots of tapping is the way to get the knowledge, apparently. There we go, guys. All five stars have been earned. Does that mean we now have the sleeping draft? Or that we've learned it? I think maybe she's just taught us it. Impressive potioneering, Claire. The sleeping draft could knock out a Romanian long haul on its tail. That's the dragon. Thanks, Penny. I owe you one. It's the least I can do for the hero who stopped Marula Snide from bullying everybody. I don't know why Penny's arm has started doing this, but it has. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Claire. I can't wait to hear what happens. Wait, don't we need to be asking her for, our, for help, though? By the way, Rowan said you needed someone to help with a secret mission. Let's talk tonight. I want to hear it all. Oh my gosh, secret nighttime missions with Penna Rooney. Let's go. Okay, so where is little Penster? This fourth year is trying to earn more points. This one's asking what Filch keeps inside his office. And this person says they haven't seen Dumbledore for a long time, which is a little bit worrying. Thanks oh. for meeting me, Penny. Of course, Claire. Word about school is you need my help. How did that get around school already? You really do know all the gossip. The only thing I don't know is 
why me? You love the gossip, you love the potions, or you're my friend. I'm gonna tell her that she's my friend. Rowan has already agreed to help, and I don't have many friends. Well, now you have at least two friends, Claire. Really, Penny? It was because it was between you and Ben, and Ben's literally Voldemort, so, you know. I'm your friend, and I'm a Hufflepuff, so obviously I want to help. I just can't commit until I know exactly what you're planning. I'll tell you everything, Penny. You just have to promise not to tell anybody else. I won't. But you have to make me as confident about this plan as you are. Okay, guys, it's time for some, some fear convincing of the penster. So why do you believe in your plan? Uh, I'm gonna say I believe in my friends. Oh, <gasps> full green stars. Okay, I think Penny is the empathy, empathetic kind of person. We need to go for those options. Thanks, Claire. I want to believe in your plan, but I still have some questions over my giant sandwich. I know it sounds a little mad, but it's gonna work, Penster, okay? What about Miss Norris? Uh, we're gonna need a sleeping draft. Boom. But ooh. I'm starting to believe in your plan, Claire. Tell me more. Of course. Ask another question, Penster. What about the cursed ice? Uh, that's a really good point, actually. We can break the curse. We'll try not to touch it. Or aren't you a curse breaker? Is she a curse breaker? No. No, she's definitely not a curse breaker, you guys. Uh-oh. You made Penny feel worse. That's not a good sign. I'm still not sure, Penny. We can do this, Penster Rooney. We need you and your beautiful hair on board, okay? Grant us your beautiful presence and we'll be much better off for it. I join you, Claire. Your plan sounds mad, but it just might work. Thanks, Penny. Penny is on board with her beautiful plots and free ridiculously thick hair. Like, her pigtails are bigger than mine, and she's still got a whole flock of hair behind it, and she's got another plot up here. It's a really ill-advised plan, Claire. I know, but it might be my only chance of finding out what happened to Dane. It's really dangerous, too. I know. <laughs> I love it! <gasps> You do? Everybody invites me to parties, but nobody ever asks me to join them on death-defying adventures. I better start brewing some particularly powerful potions. Oh my gosh! Penny is awesome! I actually love Penny right now. Once I've prepared my potions, we'll be ready to enter the locked room. Give me a little bit of time, okay? But in the meantime, Rowan has something to tell us. What is up with the Romeister? Why haven't you been spending more time in the Gryffindor common room? Uh, I've been very focused. I spent every second studying, exploring the castle, trying to find clues about Dane. Well, you really should spend more time with your fellow Gryffindors. The house is like your family at Hogwarts. You're right, I guess. Brilliant. There's a house meeting later where everybody's going to put their heads together and find out, figure out how to beat Slytherin in Quidditch this year. When I say putting our heads together, I mean it. I've noticed a lot of Gryffindors since you're a friendly head button. See, this is why I don't spend more time with them, because they're weirdos. But why can't we join the Quidditch team? I want to join the Quidditch team. However, I also really want to go and assemble in the corridor with the Penster. So I'm going to go and join Penny instead, you guys. <gasps> oh, no, it's Filch. How does, how does Filch talk? Is he like, where do you think you're going? Going. Uh, nowhere. Nowhere special. Nowhere I'm not supposed to be going. You're Jacob. Sh oh, I mean Dane. You're Dane Shavon. Dane Calloway's sister, aren't you? Uh, yes. Your brother was one of the nastiest little rule breakers this school has ever seen. I was sad to see him expelled. You were? I was. I missed the chance to hanging from the ceiling by his wrists. You're a weirdo, okay? Now I have a second chance with you. I'm not like my brother, Mr. Filch. You're a liar is what you are. Miss Norrish saw you two Gryffindors lurking in the Forbidden Corridor. I'm guessing one of those Gryffindors was you. <gasps> Guys, he's onto us. I don't know what you're talking about. You won't be going anywhere without me and Miss Norris knowing. Uh, should I trick him or ignore him? Obviously, I'm gonna trick him, you guys. Have you heard of Peeves? Of course I've heard of Peeves. Filthy little poltergeist has cost me more trouble than every student put together. Why? I heard him talking about sabotaging your office. I'm just saying. How? He said he's gonna set off all the prunk the prank items you confiscated to go off the next time you open the door. I hope Miss Norris doesn't get hurt. Why would he do that? You know Peeves better than me, but I was assume it was because he was fond of mischief and chaos. And he hates you. Just saying. How do I know you're not lying? You can think I'm lying. You can take the chance and he ruins your office and he hurts Miss Norris. Or you can stand guard inside your office so Peeves won't get the best ah. of you. I hate that wretched little poltergeist. I can't let him harm Miss Norris and damage my office. I keep my favorite chains in there. If I find out you're lying about this, I'll be using those same charms to hang you by your ankles. Oh, <gasps> Guys, we did severe trickery. 
some fear trickery there, which is great because now we can assemble in the <laughs> corridor with the squad. The squad of girly whirlies is there. This is so exciting. I've been wondering when I would get to go on my first real Hogwarts adventure. <gasps> but Miss Miss Norris is there. Wait, we have to send her to sleep. Is everyone ready? I brought every potion I could imagine being helpful in this situation. Hmm. I spent all night studying this section of the castle and going over the plan, Claire. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I tricked Filch into staying in his office, but we should still hurry. Snape might return any minute. Penny will keep watch and make sure no one's coming. Rowan will give the sleeping draft to Miss Norris, while I use Alan Wara to unlock the door. I've read a lot of books, but none of them explain how to make a cat drink a potion. Put it on some meat, okay? That would work with our cats. I've mixed it with milk. Just pour it on the ground and she should lick it up. That's actually a really good plan too. <gasps> okay, Rowan is doing some severe sneaky sneakies right now, you guys. And she's pouring the milky potion onto the ground. Hopefully Miss Norris is going to try and drink it. It doesn't look that appetizing. I imagine myself doing all sorts of things at Hogwarts. But I never thought I'd be giving a cat a sleeping draft. <gasps> okay, Miss Norris is drinking that up like the Egypt that she is. <gasps> and she's cocked out. The cat is asleep, you guys. Brilliant plan, Claire. Oh my god, how loudly is she snoring? You have a real gift for this. If wizarding doesn't work out, you should really consider burglary. Let's hurry and get inside that door because this snoring's really loud. Quick, quick, get the lock open before Filch comes back. Okay, using our new spell. Beautifully executed. Beautifully executed right there. Alamora, kapow. Is it gonna open? Flipendo. What? Oh, Flipendo. It's Marula. Oh no. <gasps> She's knocked Penny back! Flipendo! Oh my god, we're literally all stood there like ducks waiting to get taken out. Those two Egypts are now down. Flipendo! Don't let her get me down too! No! Oh no. Only an idiot like you would invite a Hufflepuff to keep watch, Siobhan. I was wondering how to unlock that door and get past that nasty cat. All I had to do was follow you and wait for you to do it for me. A cursed vault is it could be inside. And no one is going to reach it before me. <gasps> no, she's going to go inside. What if there's a trap literally inside the door and she gets taken out straight away? Have I mentioned how much I hate my ruler? Are you all right, Penny? I'll be fine. I brought a Wiganweld Club potion. What should we do, Claire? Well, she's gone in there alone. So as much as I hate her, I kind of feel like we have to help her. I know it sounds mad, but she could be in danger. You're right. It sounds mad. Whatever you choose, I'm right behind you, Claire. Me too. There won't be all enough healing potions and all of Hogwarts to do to help Marula when I'm through with her. Oh my gosh, Penny Savage. Let's see what's inside this room. Let me in. Oh my gosh. It's all icy. Marula? What happened? This is too good. <gasps> the, the ice stuck, stuck to me to, to the floor and it keeps spreading all over me. It's the same ice from my vision. It's spreading all over the door too. Get me out before, the, before they jinx you. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at the ice. Oh my gosh. The door is frozen shut. Claire, help. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's stuck too. Okay, let's try and free her first. We're trying to hit the ice. Hit it harder and then cast Flipendo on the ice. <gasps> oh no, she's stuck there forever. What is it about the spell that I have so many issues with? I just can't seem to get it right. There we go. Okay, so I've smashed the ice for her using Flipendo. She is free. Don't worry about me, we have to help Penny. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on Penny. Casting our little... Ch ah! I'm so bad at this. Casting Flipendo. There we go. What the hell? That one was perfect. Are you joking me? I can't do this one. I swear to God, it just doesn't work. Try my littlest finger. Okay, Flipendo is a little finger kind of spell. Okay, so now Penny Bubs is free as well. <gasps> We're both doing a jewel spell together. Thank you, Claire. I was afraid I'd freeze to death. No, no one cares about you. Save me. We're gonna have to save her, you guys. I can't just leave her in there. Everyone stay back. Oh. This is gonna hurt, Marula. What, what are you talking about? What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh. Why don't we flipendo her instead of the ice? <laughs> is this really a good decision? We can't leave her in there, you guys. Let me get my little finger out. Oh, the little finger has lost it as well, apparently. <laughs> there we go. What? Stop this nonsense game. Boom. There we go. Little finger power. Flipendo. Okay. She's like super stuck. There we go. But she's free. 
Hurts, doesn't it? We have to get out of this room. What about the chest? You can't go out of the room without looking in the chest. We have to do flipendo again. Oh my gosh. I hate this spell so much. There we go. Flipendo. Is it even going to work? Uh-oh. It's worked a little bit. But it's still stuck and the ice is spreading fast. Penny says, I have an idea. What are you going to do? I'm going to see if I really know how to brew a strengthening solution. <gasps> is that going to make our spell stronger? <gasps> oh, she's taking it herself. <gasps> is she going to try and smash the ice with her fists? Did it work? We're about to find out. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's actually just made herself stronger. Penny, if I wasn't in love with you before, I'm in love with you now. You did it. Let's get out of here. But the chest. Oh my gosh. Look on the wall. Look on the wall. There's a secret spell. Oh my gosh. It's some sort of code. Somebody has left a message in the ice. I wish I had something to write it down. I already have it memorized. Let's get out of here. But there was a chest in that room. There was literally a chest in that room, you guys, and nobody checked it. We did it. I should have known better than to follow you idiots. I'll find the real curse vaults by myself. Sh I hate Marula. I was kind of liking her and now I hate her again. That wasn't a cursed vault, was it? It doesn't seem likely, but the ice did itself appear to be cursed. Maybe it was protecting a vault or somehow escaping from one. Deciphering these runes could give us a clue. Either way, it seemed like your vision was some kind of prophecy. The ice is spreading. It could eventually encase all of Hogwarts. We can try and work it out later. Let's get to the Gryffindor common room before we get caught by Filch or Snape. <gasps> you guys! So, Penny is literally our bestest friendo ever right now. And she is beautiful and strong and amazing. We got inside that corridor room. However, that wasn't a curse vault and they didn't check the chest. But there is a secret code that we're going to have to now decipher to find out a little bit more about these cursed vaults. So it was pretty exciting. I enjoyed this episode. And if you guys did as well, please don't forget to give a little cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to tune in to the next episode. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.